When a knock finally came on the sleepy girl's door, she cried, bitterly, go away. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Whose voice was that? It sounded vaguely like Tony's, but not quite definitely the sort of voice you'd expect from a relative or something, however. Sounded about the same age as him as well. In either case, Karen didn't care. Her response was a quick, quieter, but still angry, leave me alone. Karen, come on. The voice behind the door sighed audibly before kindly saying, this is because you were up so late, isn't it? I know it'd get you cranky. I am not cranky, responded Karen with a pout, pulling her head lower under the covers, I'm ticked off, and it has nothing to do with being up late.